This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by the Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. More than 60,000 new COVID-19 infections are happening a week in England. The number from the COVID-19 infection survey, which is led by the Office for National Statistics, is far higher than the number of confirmed positive tests announced by the government daily. The Evening Standard's Nicholas Cecil is with me now. Nicholas, what kind of picture are these ONS figures painting? Well, the ONS are giving us an insight into the level of coronavirus infection across the country. They've got some new figures out today. And firstly, they show that in recent weeks that on average at any one point, there are around 137,000 people now believed to have the infection. Uh, That is very slightly down from the previous announcement a week ago when the figure was 148,000. But the ONS is saying, in effect, it's pretty much stable. There's no huge change. The other figure we got from this study today is that they believe there are about 60,000 new infections a week. So there have been reports that levels of new infections in London are, are very, very low. And that might be right. But certainly, if you look across the country, you're still seeing a pretty high level of new infections. And if you look... Back at the start of the epidemic, people were getting very worried when there were a few cases in a dozen. And if you compare that to now 60,000 a week, that shows you how big the crisis still is. So it is still quite a frightening situation. Is this applying more pressure to the government then to ensure that the track and trace system that Boris Johnson announced would be ready on June 1st is actually ready? It certainly uh, highlights a challenge that the government is facing Boris Johnson yesterday announced that the government was seeking to get a track and trace system in place with around 25,000 trackers to be able to cope with 10,000 new cases of infection a day. So if if you are looking at 60,000 new cases a week, he pretty much has to meet that goal by June the 1st to be able to deal with the problem. Now, the disease is believed to be on the decline, so that 60,000 may come down in coming days but even so it is a very big task and a very big challenge to ensure that the the, the whole tracking system is in place in in literally just 10 days or so. Yeah we've covered problems with the app in the podcast. Is this achievable with or without an app I suppose? That was the other development today. Um, The security minister James Brokenshire pretty much confirmed that the app will not be ready in time for June the 1st. He is saying now that the priority is to get this army of traces in place and to train them. There's questions being raised about the level of training they're getting these individuals. Obviously, it's been done at great pace and whether that it can all be put in place and to a high enough degree of quality for the whole system to work. It also really needs to be across the country to be nationwide, a patchy system of localised systems, some working, some that don't, that that probably won't be very satisfactory. Search for the leader Coronavirus Daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.